Tanya and welcome to my channel and welcome to the Hip Kid Club Weekly Sketch Challenge that is hosted every Friday. And you would have seen a brief flash of the sketch up there in the top left of the screen. If that was not long enough for you to take it in, which it probably was not, you can go to the Facebook forum for the Hip Kid Club and you can find all the details there, the sketches there. There is tons of inspiration from the design team members and yes, there is a coupon code up for grabs, $10. So, you know, come along and join in on the fun and show us what you can make. I decided to kind of go along with the sketch in a, in, in a well, in a loose way as well as in a bit more traditional way because the banners at the top that I create are the same, but I wanted to sort of do a grid type layout at the bottom and then I couldn't decide what background paper to use and if I haven't mentioned it these are the October kits and I am kind of running low on embellishments with these kits now and my November kits have shipped and they will hit the country but not soon enough for my next project so I'm going to have to see how I can be uh, super creative and still do my kind of layer embellishment heavy layouts with not that many embellishments. So stay tuned for that. Let's see if I can do it. So yeah, I'm just taking my patterned papers, the ones that I thought were really, really pretty. I adore those leaves, trees, trees. Pretty sure they're trees. <laughs> I think it's super cute. And as you can see there now, I'm trying to see which ones are going to work best with this photograph of Jessica. It was taken on her birthday. And it's actually one that I cropped down because she was there with a bunch of her friends. And it was one of those, lay you know, oh, layouts, listen to me, photographs where you got them all in a group. And I just picked her out of that because that's the, the joy of editing photographs. You know, you can get rid of the people you really don't know and just stick with those you do <laughs> or swap heads I haven't quite achieved that uh, skill <laughs> I haven't managed to swap heads yet that's super useful when you have a group photo and some twit has you know closed their eyes or forgotten to smile or something but anyway I digress so as you can see there I now have my grid going on and I'm going to make my banners for the top and I'm just using the same paper so that I've got uh, continuity going on here and then I'm going to get my embellishments out and I'm going to embellish it so there's really not a lot of rocket science going on with this layout and uh, well there never is with any of my layouts to be to be brutally honest but I do enjoy making them and I do enjoy following along with a sketch so yeah it's a win-win situation every week and uh, yeah Oh, I deliberately cut that banner at the top one so that the squirrel would show and that's why the paper at the bottom with the trees and the squirrel deliberately cut that that way too because I think that squirrel is just really, really cute. Shame I nearly rode over one the other day, but I didn't, so, so don't worry. Big fat thing, actually. He was, you know, living his best life in the middle of the road and I was driving and he didn't seem to want to move and we had a little bit of a standoff, but... Uh, he got out of the way in the end, so <laughs> he learnt to live another day and uh, I uh, did not have to, you know, cry all the way to work because I <laughs> had ridden over a squirrel. So win-win <laughs> for both of us. And uh, yeah, what else am I doing? Oh, you know what I did do? I took all the apples that came in the various embellish uh, packs that we got, either chipboard or acetate or... Uh, um, just normal cardstock and I'm putting them all on because the theme of this layout is not autumn or anything like that it's more dealing with the fact that Jessica is soon going to be a fully qualified teacher she only has one more year to go so I wanted to put that down and who doesn't love a good themed layout with lots of apples because we all know that an apple a day keeps the teacher happy and the dentist away, but we're not talking about dentists because I really think I need to go and I don't want to. So <laughs> I am conveniently forgetting that I might have to do that very, very shortly. But yes, so that is the theme of the layout. And I am just battling a little bit as to where to put my various apples and leaves. And I am color coordinating them as best I can with the background paper that I've got, the little squares or 
what are they rectangles there we go and yeah and here we go with my uh, title I wasn't too sure about the title but then I I got it in the end and it's going to read soon to be a teacher because yeah as I said she's got one more year to go and then oh she is so wanting to get into the classroom properly what they do with the the place that she's studying at is that they do practicals which is awesome but uh, she wants her own class so uh, she's chomping at the bit to do it but uh, you know you still have to study a little bit more so there we go and yeah so I took that uh, speech bubble piece of cardstock and I got it there and I thought about where I was going to place it but then I figured I'd better place it there and then it tied in with the with my titles so that worked well I did try and bring in some of the pre-made words and things but uh, it wasn't going to work so I in the end go with my final title which is soon to be a teacher and I'm very happy with it and oh I didn't mention that I did sew around all of my squares and rectangles and banners because as you know the new sewing machine is the love of my life so everything gets sewn actually what I did is I sewed them I didn't sew them to the did I sew them to the layout? I actually can't remember. And this, this is super cute. It was actually a mug and I just cut the handle off. I think it's a raccoon and I do get that on as well. So quite happy to get that on because I think it's really sweet. And even though it doesn't go with anything, uh, the colours do tie in. So it's okay. But yeah, I'm going to come to the end soon. And you're going to see some still shots. And don't forget to come and join us in the Facebook forum. And play along with the sketch and post your layout. And you never know, you may win that $10 coupon code to the HipKit Club online store. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Post a comment if you'd like to say hi otherwise i wish you a fabulous day and we will chat again soon sometime bye bye